Aloha. Hi, how are you today? Great to see you. My name is Master Paul and welcome to my live stream. I go live streaming on Facebook every day, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and 10 a.m. Australian. And we have some early risers in India that show up at 5.30 and 6 a.m. So I'm deeply honored to connect with everybody here today. I see there appears to be a little lag in my Facebook live stream. But we have some people jumping in already, so hopefully the uh, stream will catch up soon. Welcome Sandra, welcome Johnny, welcome Ankisha. And I apologize Ankisha if I've said your name incorrectly before. <coughs> uh, it's great to have all of you here. Welcome Kristen, wonderful to have you present as well. Today will be a very powerful day. Today I'm switching gears from the previous uh, 10 days in which we were focusing on the seven soul houses. So now currently, of course, there is a lag with my wireless feed. So if any of those healers watching have divine healing hands, you can turn them on and send a blessing to the telephone to tell so that they have to block this on my phone. So so that we can have a clear string today. Welcome to Marie. Welcome to Marie. Petra is up at 2 o'clock in the morning to watch us from Europe. She's a tough girl. <coughs> I couldn't do that. I don't like getting up at 2.30 in the morning to watch anybody. So, God bless you. Oh, welcome, Archana. Great to see you. And so, uh, as I was saying, in these last 10 days, we had some tremendous medicine connecting with the seven soul house and the Jiao, as well as the energy and mentor channel. Many of the insights that were revealed have to do with the karma blockages that tend to occur in the seven soul houses. Each one of the soul houses has association. And uh, the first soul house and the fourth soul house have associations with relationships. So great to see you, Carol, as well as Suki. I apologize about the quality of the stream. I'm sure that some of the healers are sending blessings now to myself and to the stream to create a better quality, and hopefully it will be better soon. <coughs> and so after the completion of that series, many people took advantage of the uh, soul operations that was being offered for that. That is still in for one more week for those that are interested. And um, uh, today, though, when I ask, you know, what people say, I can sit down for a while uh, and get quiet. And the answer was there are a lot of people that have relationship issues. And some of you know, some of you do not know, that at my, uh, at my website, I have a soulmate attraction system. And in working with clients the last three or four years on this specifically, I've had the opportunity to hear a lot of different perspectives on a lot of different uh, problems. And I've come to some, some very deep insights as to the, uh, the ways to bring about resolve. One of the things that will be revealed today is one of the core issues in all relationships. And I'll do some uh, reading and guidance on that. Um, yeah, Petra said she can't hear clearly, and so I understand. I don't quite know what to do about it at this point other than turn it off and start the live stream again. It's becoming very unpleasant. Let me try to swap to my phone. So operation to my phone, clear the shenzhen block. Okay, we'll see if that assists. As you can tell, it's a very important subject. Normally I have a very good connection uh, with my wireless stream here in the house. Okay, but maybe today 
uh, it needs to have a little bit of a boost. So hopefully the stream will correct itself. I see now it looks pretty good. We'll see what happens with time. All right, so I hope uh, that you can all hear me a little better now. So as I was saying, the subject of relationships is what came through today when I was asking the, the divine, what do I put my focus on? Where should the next series of, of um, wisdom and teachings and blessings be? <clears throat> and this is such a large subject. There are many watching today that have children. So we have children to parent relationships. We of course have our spouse relationships, uh, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Each one of our relationships bring a unique and different dynamic. And if we have a problem in one area of a relationship, it impacts a different area of relationships. Some of us take our relationship problems from work down uh, to the job. And then we are not pleasant to our coworkers. And so very often relationships can bring huge problems to us. Dr. and Master Shaw teaches a very simple and foundational teaching that success and failure in every aspect of life is related to karma. And I know that for a lot of you that is not new information. For some of you that may watch this later, that could be very new information. So relationships carry karma. Think about it. You've been with that child before and some other time. You've been with that lover or spouse before and some other time. You've been with yourself before and some other time. In other words, one of the most difficult relationships to master is the one with our self. In my soulmate attraction system, what was revealed through a lot of deep questions and a lot of deep answers was that the relationship with our self and our relationship with the divine are the two keys to actually having exceptional relationships with those outside of us. When we can master those two, the relationship with ourself and the relationship with our divine creator, we can create a far, far better series of relationships for everyone outside of us. So that is the general direction we're going to go today. So I'm going to start by, of course, connecting heart and heart, soul to soul. We're going to chant love, peace, and harmony. Uh, please hit the share button, invite more people in to today's live stream. And we will uh, go ahead and connect, and then I'll begin uh, my plans for today. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul, the soul of all of our individual Heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, and I personally bow down to you. I ask all of you to please be present at this time to assist each of us individually with our Heaven team, guides, angels, and saints. Ask us each individually to align to our heart and soul. Bless us to align to our highest calling. Bless us to purify so that we can love ourselves more so that we can love the divine, so that we can bring our highest self into relationships. Did the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony. Love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please turn on in all souls and all universes and bless all souls. We invite all souls to join us at this time. Let us chant. Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Oh, I was in her lane. Oh, I trod ran lay. Wong li ying rong, a bush song. Song I ping on a se. Song I ping on a se. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. 
love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ula, Lula, Lula, la, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, While I was chanting, I was asking for uh, guidance. And I wanted to make sure I had enough time to do what I want to accomplish today. And so I'm going to do a few soul readings specific to the blockages for fully loving, appreciating, and accepting our self. So while I do a soul reading as to the general nature of this, each of you can request to be one of those that I do a reading for. And then I may choose somebody for a demonstration for a healing blessing for loving self. So I also want to acknowledge and welcome Rianne, Judy, Crystal, Nicole, Cynthia Marie. So I will, while I do a flow, you can make a request to be one of those chosen to do a soul reading for. <laughs> Dear Heaven, please uh, offer any guidance, wisdom, and insights as to the nature and the source, the core, of the lack of self-love, self-gratitude, self-appreciation, lack of self-worth. and how that impacts our ability to be healthy and loving in a relationship. Could you please offer this guidance at this time. This is the soul of self-love. I am very large. I have a huge task. I am always with each soul in all universes. Some take me a bit too seriously. They love themselves so much that their ego overrides their service to others. Many do not love themselves even a little. There are many that go through life pointing at themselves and degrading themselves. This is when I whisper in their heart's ear, you are beautiful, you are perfect, you are the light of the divine incarnate. I do everything in my power to assist all souls to stay in alignment with the love that they are. What is self-love? Self-love is the ability to be completely in love with every aspect of all of you. Everything from the few gray hairs in your head to the extra large nose to the way you communicate 
everything from the way you think to the way you love. When you love yourself, what you are doing is you are saying, I am already made whole and perfect, and all information to the contrary is false. Anyone or anything that points out to me a differential that appears as disapproving or belittling in any way is false. God does not make anything less than perfection. My soul serves you to remind you of this truth. More will be revealed when I am called upon to answer some flows. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so welcome to Chelsea. Welcome, Patricia. Welcome, Amy. Welcome, Daraj. And so let's see who we have readings for. So if all of you have not heard, please request if you'd like a soul reading. Uh, I will do a couple before I choose someone. I will offer a demonstration specific to loving self. Chelsea says, Hello, Master Paul. I would love to have a soul reading for this. Okay. My dear Chelsea, this is the soul of self-love. One of the reasons you do not love yourself is because you doubt. You doubt virtually everything with your own abilities. Some only 1%, some 100%. Doubt arises from not only a lack of confidence, but a lack of trust. In order to reverse the conditions you have brought into your life regarding a lack of love through doubt, you must look at each area that you want to accomplish, want to do, but are not. And with each area, ask yourself, what is this fear trying to accomplish? What is trying to keep me from getting hurt? What am I avoiding to be hurt from? Usually it is validation. You are afraid that you might fail, be judged, criticized, etc. Every answer could be a bit different. But for you, my beloved Chelsea, you must take a look at these areas in your life and look at them very directly and remind yourself that you are loved fully and completely, 100%, unequivocally, without doubt, without conditions, by the only one that really matters, which is your Creator. And so when you do not do something because you fear perceptions, judgments, criticisms, etc. by others, remind yourself of this truth and laugh and then do it anyway. This is my message to you, my beloved Chelsea. Patricia Dickinson is asking to be a demo. Have to check to see. Uh, soul reading. Let me see. Okay, Angela, Johnny, Rihanna, Daraj, Stephanie. Many people have joined. Okay. Crystal.
my beloved crystal. Your lack of self-love stems from your childhood in which you found yourself comparing yourself to virtually everybody, especially those prettier than you. You found yourself comparing yourself to those in commercials and you often wondered how you can be more like them. You went about propping up your well-being, your self-worth, by mimicking and doing what others would do. Each time you were validated, it ensured that you were on the right path. This is a path of falseness when it comes to the higher understanding of self-love. In order for you to truly love yourself the way the divine loves you. You want to forgive yourself for choosing that path. You want to recognize that even if you were one who was not blessed with a pretty face, if you were one that was of a different race, a different color, a different nationality, a different anything, that you would be just as beautiful just as pure, just as loved. You must actually do this in the face of receiving validation because you still look for it. It is in the looking for it that you are not allowing for self-love. It is in the looking for it outside of you that you are fulfilling the gap the wrong way. When you hear these validations, of course, say thank you. But then take a moment and say, I don't need this outside validation. I accept my beloved Creator's greatest love. I accept myself as perfect regardless of any other perspectives. And I fulfill my heart, my self-love, and my self-worth in this way. This message is not only for our beloved crystal. Many of you could probably benefit from this message. How? Okay. <clears throat> so now I have time for one more but I'm looking through to um, for the right person for demonstration might not be anybody that I do a reading for, so please don't take it personally. I have to um, follow guidance. Okay. I would do a soul reading for Monica. And I'd like to welcome everybody else. I apologize. I haven't seen you coming in. Wonderful. Thank you all for joining me. This soul reading is for Monica. My beloved Monica, this is the divine. I have come to offer a message to you and to all of my beautiful children. On this day, there will be the opportunity to receive a special blessing to love thyself. What does that mean? That means to fully align to your original soul. That means to release the negative beliefs about yourself that you may have held on to for the entirety of your life. That means that that time when you were three or four years old. That time when your brother did something very unpleasant and told you you were ugly. Or that time when the other girls laughed at you because you wore braces. Or that time when you really liked that boy but he didn't give you the time of day. And 
you cried in a bucket of ice cream. All of these impact your heart. All of these impact your love. You have allowed all things outside of you to separate you from the purity that has always been there, the purity of your self. This blessing that will be offered today will assist all of you to realign to that one purity. My beloved daughter Monica has held a belief of these things. Fortunately, her great love for me has brought her through many dark moments. She has learned to trust and that is also a great value that will be received in this blessing that will be offered. Because when you align to loving yourself, you are in essence saying, I am not looking for validation from outside. This in essence allows you to feel love from wherever it comes, including from me, your beloved divine. The key is to align to your original purity, your original love. Then you can bring your full self to a more loving relationship. You can be more loving and compassionate to others. You can be more aligned to your true self. This is the divine. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So give me a moment while I check my pendulum uh, as to who would be the perfect person for this demo. Okay, so please everyone be grateful for whoever receives this. <clears throat> I got about six people that actually needed this, um, but I can only choose one. And so, um, and of course everybody needs it, but six were, were you know, right there. Um, so for today's demonstration, I will choose Kristen Rojas. So congratulations to you, Kristen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite her soul to be present. Around me, I have already set up a very large energy field. I have set up everything that I normally do when I offer uh, a blessing of this nature. <clears throat> what I'm going to offer to our beloved Kristen is a crown chakra blessing. Now I have to call my wife because uh, she... Uh, is going to be answering the phone and I'm going to have somebody to come in to offer a third eye reading as well. Um, I'm going to bring them in on the phone so you can hear that. I will offer of course a flow on the blessing itself but it's always nice to have a third eye reading to know exactly what's happening because I'll be putting my hand uh, on this sole of this person's head and offering the crown chakra blessing at a distance. We're very blessed that Master Shah has given us the authority and ability to do that. So, give me a moment while I get a hold of my wife. Sasa! -sa! 
so she might be outside on the phone, which is the phone they're going to be calling on. Okay, so Kristen is present. So first I'm going to do a soul reading for Kristen while we're waiting for the other phone call to come in. And Akari, if you are watching, go ahead and give a call to uh, my wife's phone. So this soul reading is for Kristen and why she was chosen. My beloved Kristen, this is your soul. You have went through tremendous, tremendous struggle in this lifetime. From the moment of your birth, you came out swinging. You have a desire to serve, but you have a stronger desire to be free. This desire has brought you great discord amongst those that desire to control you. This had to do with your karma. This had to do with lifetimes in which you kept others down, in which you did not allow them to fully love themselves, in which you did not allow them to stretch their wings and have the freedom they desired. There were two lifetimes in particular, one in which you were the deacon of a well-known religious organization. And in that lifetime, you had great ego. It was actually amongst the islands that you're currently on. You spit hellfire and demon terminology. You kept many in fear in this lifetime, and many were afraid to love themselves because they were already such sinners. This power was quite addicting to you in this lifetime, and there were many people's journeys who were impacted. This has returned to you in this life and created a great deal of strife early on and which you felt you had to assert yourself just to be seen and heard. This caused you to lose your self-love. There is another lifetime in which you tried to help others in which you did the best you could to serve others but you carried a great deal of self-doubt. This lifetime, you wondered if there was a God. You did a great deal of service, but you never truly trusted that there was a divine. And because of that, you were truly unable to love yourself. This and more will be offered blessings on this day. You are very loved. How? So let me check if Akara is on the other phone. Hi, Akara, are you with us? Aloha, can you hear me okay? Okay, I'm going to put you on speaker now, and then I'll go ahead and set up to offer this blessing, and I'll, and I'll uh, advise everybody who you are, okay? So give me a moment. going to I'm sorry, what, Akara? I'll set you up. You'll be able to hear, okay? <clears throat> okay, so I've got Akara on the phone. Uh, I'm going to prepare to offer this blessing. She wants to know who the person is so she can connect to their soul. Akara Grace is her name. I suggest you go to Facebook. I've asked her to be present to offer this third eye reading. She is a soul healer of Dr. Master Shah very very talented she does have her own soul healing business and i do recommend you use her she can definitely assist you with guidance on almost any subject matter so befriend her on facebook i'm going to ask her today to offer a third eye soul reading and so i'm going to um, prepare at this time 
and then uh, Akara, you will know when I initiate, and then I'll put the microphone next to your phone, you're on speaker at this time, Akara, and people will be able to hear you through the speaker. So now I will prepare. Dear the soul of Kristen Rojas, please come. Dear Kristen Rojas, Heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, Ani, respect you, bow to you. We ask for your presence at this time so that you can watch over this blessing and then further assist Kristen in whatever way is most appropriate. Dear all souls, Kristen, please repeat after me. Dear all souls, dear all souls in this lifetime and all lifetimes that I have harmed, especially those that I have kept from loving themselves in this journey lifetime. I bow down to you with the most sincere regret. I deeply, deeply, deeply apologize if in this or any lifetime I have kept you from loving yourself. Dear God, please forgive me for not trusting you and accordingly not being able to love myself. I ask you, God, and I ask my own soul for forgiveness, for not trusting more. I am very grateful for the opportunity to receive this crown chakra blessing today for loving myself. Thank you. Okay, Akara, I will put the phone down now. I put the speaker next to the phone. People will be able to hear you. I will speak up at first so that you know when I am starting. Tian Wai Tian, Crown Chakra Blessing for Kristen Rojas for loving herself as appropriate to bless her and release as appropriate any of the Shen Qi Jing blockages that inhibit her from fully loving herself. Crown Chakra Blessing, begin. You may start any time, Akara. Okay, thank you. So at this time, as Master Paul initiates and connects with the Divine Tao and Earth Realm, there's a column of golden light that is opening of her brain, this is affecting her thinking pattern, removing any limitations of the mind or mindset of self-love, self-worth, acceptance of self, acceptance of others, love of others. into her nervous system, also feeding and nourishing the heart center, which is also known as the message center, removing any block open her up to receive more clear direct guidance from the divine balance. Specifically related to trusting herself and trusting the divine. And also in the uh, relating to the organs of any imbalanced emotions of fear, anxiety, depression, and worry. The light has filled her entire body, head to toes, skin to bone, golden crystal light, the blue energy. It is feeding all of her organs, all of her mindsets and beliefs into more harmonized balance and ecstasy that she is able to love herself, truly love the divine, 
truly trust in herself, trust in the divine, as well as trust in her relationship with oh. others, which has had limitations. How? Oh. How? Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How, 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 thank you, Akara, for that reading. There was a little bit of a, a fading in and out of your voice. We got probably 60 to 70 percent of it. But we are very, very grateful for your connection and that reading. Countless bow downs to you, Akara. Thank you so much. Akara, can you hear me okay? Okay. So, I will now offer a soul reading as to the benefit of this crown chakra blessing for our beloved Kristen. How? This is the divine. My beloved Kristen, it was my greatest honor to offer this crown chakra blessing through Master Paul. This Master truly appreciates you and he has asked for a special blessing because of your service to him, to humanity, and to all souls. There were a great deal of blockages actually in your message center. They burrowed very deep. I had to ask a special heavens team to come to clear out the many locked down cages. It was almost like cutting free the barbed wire so that the cages could be pulled out so that the darkness could be removed. It took a while actually of preparing the area before the light could come in. There was for you 225,000 Shen Qianjing karmic blockages removed through this blessing. If this blessing had not occurred, there is a reasonable possibility within two and a half years you could have found yourself in a very dark place. And within a year after that, there is a possibility of you taking your life. This karma had to be cleared and this blessing has brought you great benefit. If this blessing had not occurred, there would have been at least 17 more lifetimes in which additional suffering of the nature you have already experienced could have occurred. You are very, very blessed on this day. This is the divine. How? 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 Thank you, divine. Thank you, Dao. Thank you, source. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the opportunity to be a worldwide representative and divine channel of Master Shah and the authority to offer such an incredible blessing using your power divine. It is my greatest honor. Countless bowdowns. Countless bowdowns. So let us sing happy birthday to our beloved Kristen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kristen. Happy birthday to you. Long sun to live in, long sun to live in, long sun to live in, in the glory, in the glory, in the glory. Hip a bit, hooray! Hip a bit, hooray! Hip a bit, hooray! I get to sing by myself because, but I'm sure you guys are singing with me. So, very big birthday for our beloved Kristen. That's a lot of blockages and a lot of lifetimes that she will no longer have to suffer. Huge, huge blessings. I will continue through the course of this and next week to work with different relationship blockages. Relationship blockages with self, relationship blockages with lovers and husbands, wives, significant others. Relationship blockages with children. Each day I will choose an area for which we have relationship blockages. One day may be co-workers and so forth. And we will utilize the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. Thank you so much, Akara, for writing uh, what, uh, what you saw. It helps a lot. And so this blessing is truly a remarkable, remarkable blessing 
for any of you that chooses to get it for yourself, you know, it's, it's an honor fee of $100. It's always optional. It's something that I can do at any point in time. I'm not going to put a time limit on this because there really should not be a time limit for someone to receive a crown chakra blessing for healing their own connection to themselves or loving themselves. But I can tell you that if you're having a problem in any area of relationship in your life, that this is where it all begins. It is one of the core reasons why we're unable to bring ourselves to any relationship in such a way where we can be fully present, fully loving, not have arguments back and forth, not be I'm right, you're wrong. A lot of it boils down to our own self-worth and self-value. And we can release these blockages by ourselves. We can go through forgiveness practice on a daily basis. But when we employ divine treasures such as a divine crown chakra blessing, what in essence we are doing is we are releasing 17 lifetimes of blockages. That's at least how many lifetimes it would take you to do it on your own if you just tried as best you could. You would basically go through a quite a bit of suffering before you figured it out. We're blessed to have Dr. and Master Shah's calligraphies, the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, the Chanting Channel, all the different tools that he's brought to humanity and to Earth that we can use those. We have our transmissions but we also must practice. And this is where most of us fail. So if you practice, let me find out how long it would take to clear this on your own if you did it, even with the treasures. You could clear it in one lifetime. You would have to use the Da'ai treasure. You would have to chant about two hours a day and you could do it in, in 60 years. So if you chanted two hours a day for 60 years, you could clear what this one crown chakra blessing would clear in just a few minutes. But it goes to show you the power of the Divine's generosity. Uh, it is my greatest honor to be able to offer a blessing of this nature. So I encourage all of you to consider something like this because as we go through this next series of relationship teachings for uh, healing relationship with self, for healing relationship with lovers, husbands, wives, spouses, for healing relationship with children, healing relationship with co-workers, etc. You will find that it brings a great deal of resonance and clarity. You will receive whatever wisdom is taught over these next series with far greater awareness. And any of the chanting and blessings that we do during those uh, live streams will have a far deeper and higher impact. Aside from all that, of course, it will bring a lot more calm to your life. And this kind of blessing can absolutely bring uh, value to your uh, finances as well. Because a lot of times our self-doubt, our, our lack of self-love, keeps us in a place of fear and doubt. And in that place, we don't do those things we need to do to generate financial blessings. We don't trust when we ask God to bring us something or we, we uh, do something that would normally bring us finances if, if our magnetic field is putting out uh, lack, putting out a lack of trust, a lack of love. That, that financial blessing will, will not come to us. And it's because of the underlying magnetic pulse. So a blessing of this nature will also assist. Um, I want to read Kristen's response. She says, Wow, no words. From the moment my name was called, I was bowing down. And during the forgiveness practice, thank you, Divine. Thank you, dearest Master Paul. Thank you, beloved Master Shah, for this uh, extra special blessing, extraordinary blessing. So much light, so many blockages being removed. And then Akara, uh, she says, Kristen received the greatest light, love, and healing to clear any blockages so that she could trust further with her relationships to self, divine, and others. And it is her greatest honor to serve. Again, Akara Grace, you see her name there. If you, if you haven't befriended her, please do so. She's a very special and beautiful soul. Uh, big, big, big heart. She's, she's happy to serve you. She has her own soul healing business, and she's quite talented. Uh, and Consuela, I didn't acknowledge you earlier. I apologize. Thank you for uh, coming and joining. Annika, I see you now. Thank you for coming and joining. Everybody else, if I haven't acknowledged you, please forgive me. 
So we're coming to the end of this time. I see that there are quite a few people that were wanting some guidance on, um, on this particular subject matter. So I will continue this tomorrow. I will do soul reading specific to self-love. And we will do a lot of chanting and blessing to clear that. I did see a beautiful transmission. So all those that come tomorrow, uh, I will offer a transmission from Dr. and Master Shah's Divine Transformation book. Uh, it is a huge, huge uh, soul that you will be uh, attached to your soul permanently and you can use to turn it on to serve your relationships. So that's what you can expect to receive tomorrow. We'll do more soul readings and we will do practices specifically to clear the blockages to self-love. If any of you are interested in this blessing, feel free to contact me. Um, you can uh, email me at my email, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. Right above my video is usually my information, contact information. And also, of course, there is the messaging aspect of Facebook. You can just message me. Happy to serve you. Happy to serve any loved ones, family, children, grandchildren, anybody you know that might need this as well. I just have to check guidance to make sure that it's approved, okay? So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.